Yo, and what's up my fellow Walmart bags? So, yeah, as you can see from the title and thumbnail, you are probably wondering what anime game actually has controllable Mahoraga. Because I am pretty sure that there are still no Roblox anime games that have it. But finally, there is a Roblox anime game that actually makes you able to control Mahoraga, which is Project Baki 3. And it just added a new Megumi spec recently, which is probably the most unique Megumi right now. And to obtain Megumi in this game, all you have to do are talk to the Megumi trainer near Black Market to initiate the quest. And then... Yep, this is gonna take me about a year to finish this quest. And of course, just like in my other video, I will give away any game pass you want in the strongest battleground if you are the first to find my secret code, which is hiding somewhere in this video. And the rules are that first you have to like and subscribe to enter, then comment on the codes with your user. Also, let me warn you again, if you forget to put your user in, even if you put the right code, you will lose the chance of winning too. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. And the first move is the Well's Unknown Abyss. And for this move, you summon by using your hands to form the shadow puppet of a toad, causing your frog, Shikigami, to appear right in front of you, who sticks their tunge out to pull in the opponent, ensnaring them and slamming them into the floor, ragdolling them while then releasing the technique. And second move is Divine Dog, Totality. And for this move, you clasp your hands together to create the shadow puppet of a dog's head, summoning your black wolf, Shikigami, who has inherited the power of its white twin. The wolf rushes to your opponent and performs multiple slashes with their claws, with the last cross slash launching the opponent back and inflicting them with bleed. And third move is Nue. And for this move, you clasp your hand while then imitating wings with your hand summoning your owl Shikigami that upon first use and it will flies overhead surveying the area around you. And if you use it again, Nue will come swooping down into the opponent crashing into them with its electroshock wings, causing your target to fly back but stunning them. And fourth move is Max Elephant. And for this move, you lays one hand on top of the other and adjust them to create a shadow puppet of an elephant head summoning your pink elephant that comes crashing down from the sky, creating a crater from the impact of its landing, following its crash up with four spurts of concentrated water that force any opponent away, ragdolling them into the air, before being canceled and dismissed back into the shadows. And fifth move is Rabbit Escape. And for this move, you forms a shadow puppet of a rabbit's head with your hands summoning three of their rabbit shikigami from your shadow that leap relentlessly to their target kicking them with each kick ragdolling them to the floor and each bunny has a 5% chance to hit a black flash on impact. And now we have Domain Expansion, in which you use it by pressing Rage or the G key. And for this move, you are drops your arms and clasp your hands together while then raising them back up, conjuring a flood of shadows that encompass the area around it, drowning the area, as well as the misfortunate opponents who get caught up in the black abyss that steal their sense of sight. Basically make enemy blind, I guess. And while in the domain, the user's Shikigami's true potential is brought up boosting all of the user's damage, as well as giving you access to new techniques that harness the dark environment of the domain. And finally, it's time for Mahoraga mode, in which you can control Mahoraga by yourself. And to use it, you have to fill this blue bar until it's full by doing damage with any skills. And after that, just pressing T key.
All right, now it's time to showcase Maharaga Moose. Oh, anyway, I just can't open in game sound effect too much because Sukuna theme is copyright. And first move of Maharaga mode is Divine Roar. And for this move, you braces your before letting out a monstrous roar that disorientates the enemy and sends them flying back and crashing into the floor. And second move is Divine Stomp. And for this move, you compresses your body and leaps up into the air before slamming back down to the ground, creating a crater from the impact ragdolling any opponents nearby. And third move is Divine Grab. And for this move, you lunges at your opponent, impaling them with your cursed blade, before slamming them into the floor and swim, ping them off their blade, inflicting them with bleed. And last move is Divine Slashes. And for this move, you using your cursed tool performs a series of devastatingly fast slashes that with the final slash pushes the opponent back, ragdolling them. Oh, and I forgot to show you that if you use Rabbit Escape and Domain Expansion, Target will not be able to see any rabbit. Wow! Whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey! Okay. Oh, no.